I mean, is this all you're going to share with Tsubasa? I mean, f a fish. I mean, what the hell is that? Run away, run away. <laughs> Hello, I am Mubit, and welcome back to the MC Ages server. Uh, it is episode 9, I believe, and of course, last episode, we finished off our wonderful Valhalla hellscape shop experience type thing and it was rather fun i had a lot of good feedback from you guys about this both in the game chat and just in general um and it's only gonna get better as we go along uh, we've got a big project today to to link this place up with the slash mall that is the uh, main server shop um so yeah we are gonna go oh hi mate uh, we're going to go um, over to the mall in a moment and have a look at that. But first, I've got to go and call in on one of our neighbours. Hello, T-Bast. How you doing, dude? Um, so those who don't know, some, some people once they get to Phantom Ranks get a warp. And this place is awesome. Loving it, dude. Look at the colours. Oh, obviously, purple is my favourite colour, as you very well know. Which is probably why you wanted to show me this. Um, but yeah, people get their own warp area so they can make malls or mini games or whatever. Yeah, it looks like a Decepticon base. <laughs> so yeah, it's oh wow, it does. I can see like Mega, you know, Megatron and uh, Soundwave in here or something. It's like kind of like techno organic kind of look. It's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loving it. I, he's, he's saying that he, lo he loves the uh, Valhalla shop. Well, thank you, T-Vout. It's brilliant that you actually uh, do enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so while they're doing that, let's have a look over here. So over, it looks like we've got some kind of library or something here. This is quite an impressive build. And it's got a creeper. Oh, God. Go away. Go away. Go away. I'm literally naked. Go away. Seriously. Go away. Don't ruin my new skin. Oh, I'm about to put my old skin on. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, that's right, T-Bass. You, you defend me. Uh, dude, there's a creeper here. Dude, dude, there's a creeper here. There's a creeper here. Uh, where, are you, where are you going? Uh, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> you don't seem to be bothered. Have you got creepers turned off in this place or what? <laughs> that place needs lighting up. It's lethal, dude. Right, what's over here? So we've got um, some kind of apartment block or something. Jesus Christ, you maybe jump, dude. Duh. I think this is a pet. Good God. How did, how did you... Oh, he's gone. How did you get that? Oh, there's a drowned as well. No, they are just the worst, dude. Dude, what are you doing with a charged creeper as a pet? You scared the crap out of me, dude. Well, you just... Yeah, all right. Okay, let's get... Oh, right. Okay, here's the thumbnail. <laughs> Pose for me. There we go. Okay, let's ch check out this apartment complex. So we've got... How does it work? You can rent... Also, it looks like he's renting out rooms in here or floors or something. Maybe for shops. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So some chests. What's this? Okay, fine. And a... Not a water elevator, but kind of an elevator. Oh, it's nicely decorated up here. And I can't open the door because I've not got trust. Ah, he's got one open. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we've got a telly. We've got a bed. Is it bouncy? Yes, it's bouncy. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. So it looks like each room's going to be pretty similar. What's up here? Yeah, so more of the same. Looks like they're not decorated yet. Um, okay, how far does this go? Crikey. This keeps going. Ah, okay. Here we go. So there's the top. Can we see out the window from here? Not quite. Okay, right. So back downstairs then, I guess. We. That's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, this is coming along nicely here, but yeah, mate. Really enjoy it. Yeah, some nice builds. Might get you to come and do a build with me one day. Anyway, let's get back to the main MC Ages server because we have got some digging to do today, let me tell you. Okay, and we are now outside the server mall. And as you can see, I've been a little bit busy off camera. Um, I've built this cube of ne nether portals here. 
I'm about to turn the, the um, animations down a bit, I'm afraid, just because uh, I'm currently editing a different video for Filmic Fridays. But anyway, um, as you can see, I've got some um, some decent um, never-based loot, as it were, because we have got this cube of portals and we are now decorating it, and it's going to be like a Viking um, statue of Odin, just like we've got inside Valhalla, and it's going to be, obviously, out here. Um, so I'm thinking pillars up the sides, I'm thinking a big sort of Viking sat on top of it on a throne, you, I mean, you get the general idea. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make some... Uh, some quartz pillars and some quartz stairs and all that kind of jazz and see if we can beautify this place and kind of attract people to come into it because as you've probably um, already realized this is a never portal because we are building a never road and an ice road in fact um, so you can boat from the mall to everwinter because everwinter doesn't have its own warp point um, yeah, that looks all right. Um, there's the mall right there, you see. And you're going to come... If you walk to the mall and walk out and come out... The first thing you're going to see is this uh, portal. Because everything be from behind me up to the mall is protected. No one can build on it. So this is... I want this to be pretty big and to stick out a bit. So if you slash warp mall and arrive in the doorway of the mall and you turn around, you'll see this and go, Oh, what's that? And you'll come over and this will all be terraformed and look pretty. And you've also got here, look, uh, for newbie players, this is where they get sent. You slash warp mall and walk outside, and these are the instructions on how to claim land. So it's it's prime real estate right here. And the idea is we go for the um, for the never. It uh, warps you to the roof of the never pretty much. And there's going to be an ice boat road all the way to Everwinter. And, of course, my, my Valhalla shop, um, but also the other shops of the other residents of Everwinter itself. At least that's the plan. So um, I'm going to get on with building this, make some more slabs and things, and uh, I'll give you an update in a moment. And in today's time-lapse talky thing, I want to talk to you about community. Because given uh, the state of the world right now, it feels like community is str is more needed than ever. It seems there's even more hate in the world these days, especially online, as you guys might have seen, depending where you are, there's opposite sides of one co of the same coin fighting on social media. In, in England, we have the whole Brexit thing, where you've got people who want to leave, people who want to stay, people think politicians are doing a good job about it, people who don't, and it's just everyone's at each other's throat. So it's more important than ever for all of us really to, to come together as a community and, and build a, a strong and friendly community in the places that we come to get away from all that rubbish. It's why I like MCA just so much actually because um, as you see when I sometimes forget to turn the chat box off when I'm recording and things, people just chatting away and helping each other and somebody runs out of a block and some other random person will come along and donate them to, to the project or what have you, it's great. And another area where I've, I found a strong community for myself recently is in Team Reflector. As some of you guys know, I am a cinematographer um, as a day job. So on Mondays on this very channel, uh, Mondays is Minecraft Mondays and Friday is Filming Fridays. So uh, usually a vlog or some behind the scenes stuff on a film or whatever. And most recently you might have seen, we had a spin-off from the Born in Blood film that we're currently working on. Um, and we had a Born in Blood art exhibition down in Mexbro in the basement of a old Victorian school. It was very spooky, it was brilliant. We had a specialist company come in, donate their time to turn this basement into like a walkthrough kind of scare maze, if you will. Um, and the art exhibition, the actual art prints and things were actually in the scare maze, like covered with blood soaked pieces of plastic and stuff. And it was all pitch black and the punters got to walk around with torches that we could make purposefully, purposefully faulty a bit, you know, so it's a bit more spooky. And they had actors in there, not sort of going boo and jumping out. They were just more kind of just floating around, you know, so maybe you'll, you'll bump into one by mistake or you know you'll you'll turn the torch and there'll be someone right there you know so that sinister thing and it was a lot of hard work as you can imagine to put it together and it couldn't have happened without a community of talented people coming together 
to make this thing happen because the whole art exhibition was actually a non-profit thing um, all the profits from selling the art prints and auctions we had on the night things like that all went to the local mental health charities and it's just a great example of a community of talented people coming together we've got actors who um, came in and did a uh, little sort of mini shows for people in in one of the rooms of the downstairs bit we had actors on on the stage upstairs reading out stories based around the art we had faceless ventures who did the actual scare maze uh, with our help because we helped build it as well and we had team reflector and alex de luca's team and all that lot who come in and we we were filming on the day and doing promo images and things to get people around and it was just great it was a big team of different people from different areas coming together as a community to help others in the same community in who may maybe have mental health issues or, or what have you and I don't know about you guys but when stuff like that happens it, it warms my cockles it really does and it shows you that when the chips are down rather than argue and fight amongst yourselves on social media and things do something more positive with that energy funnel it into some voluntary work funnel it into coming on MC Ages and helping some some random newbie who's not got any equipment you know funnel it into looking after a member of your family perhaps you've not seen for a while there's lots of things you can do I think community is key especially these days we need to have more positive interactions with each other more things to look forward to and more reasons just to have a positive mes message in general for, for both ourselves and the people around us I think but that's just my two cents what do you think let me know in the comments below and let's get back on to the MC Ages server and as we arrive in the warp mall and turn around and go outside, as you can see, well, my render distance has turned down a bit because I'm editing a video, but there it is. That is the Everwinter Never Portal, which will lead to Valhalla, hence the Viking on a throne up there. Um, we can just pretend it's Odin or something. Um, but yeah, this thing's turned out really good. We've got some signs to tell people exactly you know what where they're gonna go if they go through here and if you come through here oh yes we have got a thing full of boats and we have got our ice road room which is pretty cool and I'll show you more of that in a moment but as we come back out here I'll give you a little tour around we've got our little signs there to say Everwinter Portal and as you can see, we've got some of the fire torches that are outside Valhalla as well. So, of course, as people come to look at the uh, display here on, on how to claim land, um, they can turn around, see this, and wonder. And hopefully, their curiosity will get the best of them, and they will go through to the Everwinter Ice Road and as you can see just about this is one of the um, dog heads from the actual Valhalla shop as you can see here there's the teeth and the nose just above me and yeah it's supposed to like be a bit scary you know in the, obviously the arrows down there that make you turn to the right and then you row the boat all the way back to Everwinter but yeah, this has been a lot of fun making this, actually. Um, probably went a bit overkill on this room in here because the uh, never tends to reset once every couple of months. So I might have to rebuild this again <laughs> in a couple of weeks' time. But I couldn't resist it. I mean, you know, you got if you're going to come through, it's got to look cool. Otherwise, what's the kind of point of it? But as you can see from the sign here, you place your boat onto the Hellhound's tongue and row to your doom or to Everwinter, as we'll see here. And Everwinter is actually quite far away from the main mall. The mall's kind of sort of in the center of the world in a way. And Everwinter is quite a distance to go. Um, but it's good fun doing it in an ice boat, I think. You just keep going and going and going, and it's ridiculously fast. And then you come out here to a lava waterfall. Hopefully that'll scare people, because they think they might go into lava. Obviously you don't, it's perfectly safe. And you can put your boat back. Oh, there, I'm going to take some out here, I think. And as you can see, you've got a sign here. Stepping into the portal to begin your quest at Valhalla. 
and the arrows kind of follow you around, funny you around. And here we are. Here's the end portal for getting to Valhalla and Everwinter. And when you come out the other side, you come right out at the feet of the Viking and the entrance of Valhalla. Yeah, I really enjoyed this pro this project. I hope you guys did too. Um, hopefully this will um, make people want to go into the um, the hell portal sucky thing. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to leave it here because I'm out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of MC Ages. It has been episode 9. Um, and next Monday... Uh, we'll be doing something really incredible, so I can't wait to tell you what it is. Until then, I've been Moobit, and I'll see you next week. ta -ra! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.